You can count the pollen grains or the minute drops of water on the petals. This is Super High Vision TV. It's been developed jointly by NHK from Japan, Rai in Italy and the BBC in the UK. Our research scientists in the laboratories asked what's next after HDTV. That was the starting point of the research of Super High Vision. And it takes a big screen to demonstrate a big idea. Super High Vision is 80 times the size of standard definition and four times the size of high definition in each direction. It uses 7680 by 4320 pixel images at 60 frames a second. The technology first appeared here at IBC two years ago. This time there's another first. Pictures are being transmitted around Europe, including a live super high vision feed from London. And this is one of only two super high vision cameras in the world. Setting it up is definitely a three-man job. It weighs 45 kilos, even without the 5 to 1 zoom lens. From the south bank of the River Thames, the pictures travel via an IP packet service over gigabit Ethernet to Amsterdam. Our ultimate goal is to deliver the wonderful picture and sound to the home. So this is the first step for, to the target. But the technology is still a long way from people's homes. At the moment, you don't get the full picture on a screen smaller than 100 inches. For the super high vision, in my personal view, a 70 inch to 100 inch display would be appropriate for home use. Pictures like these are also being sent in live from Turin during the conference. Content from a server at Rai, Italy is being compressed by a bank of MPEG-4 encoders to 140 megabits a second and carried over two full satellite transponders provided by Utilsat. Here in Amsterdam, demonstrations of super high vision take place every 20 minutes throughout the day.